all right guys welcome back to another video yo it's getting exciting this pet the skills is fantastic all right guys now this is a lesson you want to check out because this is where everything starts this is the be all and end all of your pet um, like i said we ask the wrong questions we do the wrong levels we're going to battle later on all right guys so take some time again look at the video again and um, go back um, should you not be happy with something maybe that you might have missed and um, you know you could have a look at this all right now again i've got to refer to my scenario okay guys now i'm going to go back to my pack documents and i just want you to look at my scenario again right i said at the beginning of this whole pet that i will be focusing on what is the impact of technology on delivery and career services in south africa okay then we we boiled this down a little bit more and we know that they the partner has given you some questions depending on which topic or which um, area of focus you would like to um, do the pat on all right good so I decided that I was going to take this career and delivery services. And again, yours will be different to mine. Again, please, guys, I'm going to ask that you do not copy me. Um, and remember, this must be your own work. I'm there to guide. I think that's the most important thing. That's why I'm not completing the complete pet off for you guys. Um, I'm only doing sections of it um, just to guide you guys on the right line. Okay, right. So we are now left with this table which we've got to do okay now again i'm going to ask you before we do categories and questions and its levels the types of sources let's just go look again clearly what see what the pet is saying to us right so i'm going to go down and just quickly recap where we were okay so guys there's a lot more than just these sources this is a summary okay that's important to realize this is a summary of those that information questions and everything in one but there's more details to this okay you have got to find sources which is a table like this okay where we are acknowledging the people who gave you the content it's like i make a cd or i make a, a song uh, you got to know the author is because you want to buy the cds not the author you want to know the um the singer is you also want to know make the video um and it's obviously it's copyrighted okay guys they don't want you to steal stuff all right very very important they take copyright very very seriously okay so um do not put anything in unless you've got a resource uh, um a bibliography for that and the resources for it it's very important okay um right in fact i've heard you know that you can actually go to jail guys for stealing another person's work okay so you can see what they're doing here they're saying for each website record the following okay so there we can see it they've got the author the name the website when it was created when you accessed it and the url okay great now you think to yourself must i create this table for 10 questions yes okay i don't like the minimum um i've always said to my learners you know what let's acknowledge people and um find sources for the minimum of 10 questions you've created okay your and the other also says identify a source to find the information for each question you must use the internet um at least two different websites plus at least one other source okay so please take some time and read through this carefully again i'm guiding all right then if we carry on down other source now what is that right so if you're not using the internet you have to have one other source now again this guys goes back to what i was saying in the start where when you're doing your pet go and find some more information from a book from a, a pamphlet that you might have um a document that you have found and then you will have one of these in so i want you to keep this in the background 
of your memory somewhere along the line, okay? Um, now add this information into appropriate columns in the questions in the source table created. Modify the table as needed. Um, you can also add the bibliographical information, the sources, and it carries on down. Now, guys, this is also important. I'm going to explain this out now, now to you. Um, we'll be looking at the authority, the currency, the accuracy, um, the objectivity, and the coverage. Okay, we'll get to that. But what is important is this. They've given you an example of the layout of a bibliography. Okay, and this you need to have typed. Very easy, very quick. You can build the table yourself, split it into two columns. I joined this one, I merged it together again and split it. So if you don't mind, guys, let's look at mine here. If I go to bibliography, I've put this table in now. That's how it looks like, unpopulated. Right, very, very easy. Nothing complicated. All that I've done, guys, is because of experience with marking the pets, they left out question number. I would have liked that to be in over here, which question we are answering, because later on, we can bookmark it, for example. Okay? All right, so if you don't mind, you can see that I've added in my own little one which says question number and i'll have question number one whatever the case may be and follow up through there all right so take some time pause the video if you want to and see if you can create this table um, going forward all right so i'll just give you a little while just to do that all right and now guys what i've also done for you is i've included the link uh, to this, um, just the table for you guys. Maybe you can just copy and paste that in. Um, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'd prefer you though to build your own. But I know other teachers are giving them the resource where they can just to save time that this table is already built for them. Okay, or built for you. All right, so um, that's up to you if you want to use that and then just paste that in. Just look under the links below. Um, you should see um, the link to this. All right, good. All right, now the trick starts, guys. Okay, so I'm busy on page 11 now of the pet. And they're saying we got to have various question levels. Okay, so I'm going to start my pet off with a level one question. Okay, so let's go back to Word and I'm going to write level one in there. All right, that's going to be my number one. We're going to focus on the question now. So I'm going to be jumping between these various columns as we carry on. Um, and guys, please, it's going to be a little bit longer lesson. So bear with me a little bit. It's a lot to explain. Okay, right. So I'm busy with a level one question. Now you've got to decide how many levels you want to have. So try and balance them out nicely over the 10 questions. Okay, right. But let's start off right. So I've got question number one. And I'm going to go back here. Right. So what is a question one? It provides facts. Now, you must remember, guys, that we're in the learning part of our pet. OK, so I mean, we don't know exactly how everything works. So there's research that's got to happen okay, for us to understand this. So I'm looking for some factual questions that I can use um, in answering that question and if you don't mind i'm going to go one step further i want to focus on rural areas okay so think about um kwazulu natal or think about the eastern cape or the western cape um where you maybe have got a far-flung community all right with very little infrastructure all right little roads and um, if there are roads they sadly broken or um you know damaged or there is no road and I want to assume that I want to deliver goods to them. Um, as my pet builds up, I might decide to go medical or food. All right, so it depends what we want to do there, um, or what I'm going to do there while I'm busy explaining the pet. So you need to have these things sorted out before you continue. So you need to focus very carefully here, guys. All right, and then remember, you need to give data. We also want questions that can give us data. Okay, so really quite important, okay? Right, so we can say this provides facts. Okay, so let's go back 
to alpaca and let's go to category and I'm going to say facts okay fact chewal all right factual that's what it is it's a factual category it provides facts all right what question are we going to use okay so let's go back now again and let's have a look at the questions and the questions were right at the top here under my career and delivery services and which ones can we use so i'm going to change to a highlighter right we could use how right so i'm going to highlight these ones where are all the house okay there's the house okay right how 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 right there's a couple of them right there's another how there and yeah right those are going to give me facts all right another one um so i'm happy with that if i want to use how right now remember i want to consider delivering via drones positives negatives all right so here's a question here number 12 how are some delivery companies testing drones and self-driving vehicles for future deliveries okay that's pretty cool all right um how do career services use QR codes? Okay, I like that one first because I don't want just to focus first just on drones. Drones is the delivery mechanism, but there's stuff that happens before, guys. Okay, and I like that. How do career services use drones? I uh, use QR codes because I'm going to learn a little bit more about QR codes. So I'm going to take this one, if you don't mind, and I'm going to use that one as my first question in there oops sorry guys i need to get that pasted somehow um, let me go back and get this done quickly awesome okay so i've got it in. right how do career services use qr codes to speed up the package drop off and pick up process so i know it's a factual i've got the question we know it's a level one why because it used the word how are you guys happy what type of source is this? All right, it's definitely going to be the internet. Internet. Okay, we're using the internet as a source. All right, now, bibliographical information and quality of information found. I'm going to ask if I can show you this, these last three, in the video after this one. Okay, I'm more trying to get this part sorted out so long. Okay, and then I'll show you how to do these properly. Are you guys happy with that um, so far? So I've got a first question in, it's factual. All right, let's go and see. Let's go do another one. So I know that one's going to help me out understanding how QR, how the QR code process works. Okay, let's go back again. All right, so is there another one that I could possibly use? I like this with the drones and self-driving vehicles. I like that part, guys. Um, because this is how we're going to learn um, about how people are delivering currently. Okay, so I'm going to take that one as well. And that's also, I'm just going to paste that in there. All right, that's my second question that I'd like to use. And it's also a level one. Okay, because it's how. And this is factual. Okay, factual. All right, and we are also using the internet. Okay. Are you guys happy so far? Making sense, eh? All right, great. This is lovely, man. So I've got two questions in. I know my levels are correct. I know my source. All right, let's go for level three. And let's go see again, guys, if I go down and I say to myself, all right, good. Let's go look what a level two question is now. This gives you direction of the investigation. Why, how, etc. All right, so if we go back up again and we look at some more of our questions. Right, so if you don't mind, I'm going to use my eraser here again. Right. Now, let's look at the why questions. So if I look here, I've got a why. I've only got one here. All right, and let's just see what they are saying. Why do food delivery apps sometimes charge different prices than the restaurant's menu? And how does the technology determine the differences? All right, now remember, um, you could have your own question. 
all right? Um, you don't have to use these exact questions, all right? So it's, it, it really becomes quite interesting and challenging, all right, um, to decide on your questions. All right, but they are allowing us as well as how. So, how has technology improved delivery speed in delivery career services? Okay, how can AI dis assist? How do delivery companies use GPS technologies? That's quite interesting for me. Because remember, I'm saying that I want to deliver food, okay? And I would like to use a drone. Okay, and see if we can deliver this. So that is a nice question there. So I'm going to take that one, okay, guys. And again, into my pack, I'm going to paste this one. And that was how. All right. And this is a level two question. All right. And I'm still using the internet. All right. Internet. There we go. So this becomes interesting, right? What does that question do? And again, that set on the pad there. If you go back to page 10 again. All right. Um, oh, sorry, it wasn't 10, guys. Okay, it was actually page 11. And it gives direction. Okay, gives direction of the investigation. Right, so I'm just going to, for now, just say direction. Direction. Okay, it's giving me direction of investigation okay so the the moderator can see you've got factual here you've got direction of investigation that's lovely so far okay now do you remember you don't have to have all one one two 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 no uh, the, the, the trick here is over the 10 questions to have a good balance and if you see it moving over to the next page it's gonna do that guys so do not stress about that all right so what I want you to do now is I want you to go and balance your questions out for me. Go and look for the rest of them now. Level one, level two, level three, level four. Okay. And, you know, get your questions in plus two of your own um, to create the final section. Then I'm going to focus on this part of the source table in the next video. Guys, it's getting complicated. Um, but complicated is a challenge and challenges are lovely and of course I love learning I don't know about you guys, but I love learning Salani Gatle, I hope this is helping and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers guys